हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू विज्ञान एकेडमी फॉर मैथ्स एंड साइंस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक बट फॉर दिन दैट लेट मी आस्क योर क्वेश्चन वी एट लॉट्स ऑफ फूड इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ लाइक फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल्स एंड ड्यूरिंग डिनर और लंच वी यूज टू ईट मेनी फूड्स सो हैव यू एवर थॉट वॉट हैपन्स विद दिस फूड्स आफ्टर ईटिंग दैम If you're saying it's get digested, then you're right. So today's topic is we are going to learn about digestive system and also our excretory system. I'm Shraddha Pandey, and this topic is taken from Four Standard Science of S Chan Publication Textbook of ICSE Board. And in this video, we are going to cover the contents like the digestive system, inside the mouth, inside the stomach, inside the intestine. eating correctly excretory system urinary system and also how to keep our excretory organs healthy so now let's have a look on digestive system this is the image of a digestive system but first of all let's see what is digestion so breaking down of food inside our body is called digestion and what is this digestive system so a group of a body part that works together to digest the food is called digestive system so which part of a body is doing this digestive process now let's have a look on this image and the digestion begins from our mouth then it goes to esophagus which is also called as food pipe then stomach then into small intestine then into large intestine then it reaches to the rectum and then the waste material come out through the anus and liver and pancreas also plays a main role for the digestion now let's see what happens inside our mouth after eating the food so the digestion begin inside the mouth we first use our teeth to chew the food and break it down into the small pieces after that we mix the food with saliva with the help of our tongue and saliva is a digestive juice which is made by salivary gland present inside our mouth and saliva makes the food into a paste before swallowing and soften food and also start the digestion of starch present in the food now let's see what happened with the food inside the stomach so when we swallow the food it goes down a tube called food pipe and then enters to our stomach just like we can see in this image the food is moving through food pipe and reaching to the stomach it stays there for up to 3 hours during this time further digestion of food occurs the stomach secretes digestive juice the stomach muscles churn and mix the food with these juice that means with the digestive juice they break down protein and other substance into simple soluble substance now let's talk about what happens inside the intestine from the stomach the food reaches into a coel pipe called the small intestine as we can see in this image this coel portion which you can see is called as small intestine here the food is mixed with more digestive juice and it break down even more some of the digestive juice are made by the small intestine some are made by other body organs such as the liver and the pancreas the digested food passes into the blood through the walls of the small intestine and the blood takes this digested food to all the cells in the body after that some portion of the food that we eat cannot be digested and it become waste so this passes into a wide pipe called large intestine as we can see this is a wide pipe it is called as large intestine here water is absorbed from the waste and the solid parts or faces is stored in the rectum over here it is stored and from here the waste products are sent out through the anus now let's see how to eat correctly to have a healthy digestive system to stay healthy we must eat a balanced diet too much sweets or too much fried food can cause us indigestion 
we must include vegetables fruits bread and milk in our diet we should not eat more than we need otherwise we can have a stomach problem drink a lots of water as water helps in the process of digestion we must include foods containing roughage which is also called as fiber in our diet it helps food and waste move through our digestive system food obtained from plants such as vegetables fruits beans and wheat bread have fibers in them chewing food well is important for good digestion food that has not been chewed well cannot be properly digested thus it's important to chew properly while eating we must have food at fixed time avoid snacks between meals and we must sit down to eat our food and do not used to be in hurry while eating rest a little after eating as the muscles of the digestive system need energy if we run around during or just after eating they cannot get all the energy they need then digestion will not be proper and we may be have stomach problems eat clean food with clean hands and rinse our mouth properly after eating make it a habit to go to the toilet every morning the waste left after digestion must be thrown out of the body regularly this is important for the health of our body and also for the digestive system now let's discuss about the excretory system as the body part do their work waste materials are produced for example when food is converted into energy carbon dioxide is produced they must be removed from the body otherwise they will harm the body do you know what is excretion excretion is the process of getting rid of this waste product from the body and the main system in the body responsible for excretion is the urinary system this is the image of urinary system it removes most of the waste from the body in the form of urine and other excretory organs are skin and lungs the skin remove waste in the form of sweat when we are sweating the waste is removed from our body and the lungs remove the waste in the form of carbon dioxide now let's talk about the urinary system the main organs of urinary systems are two bean shaped called kidney as we can see in this image this is a kidney and this one is called as bladder or urinary bladder where the waste materials are getting collected from kidney and this the part which is joining kidney to the urinary bladder is called as ureter and from where the urine is removed that is called as urethra now this bean shaped kidney can be called as filter of the body why because the blood collects waste material from the cells in all parts of the bodies and takes them to the kidneys after that kidneys filter out these waste materials from the blood and the waste leaves the kidneys along with water through two tubes they are collected as urine in a bag called urinary bladder and the urine is expelled from time to time through urethra now let's see how to keep our excretory organs healthy we must drink plenty of water as water helps for the digestion we must do exercise daily like running and other exercises also we must eat a healthy diet some foods that provide the nutrients necessary to keep the excretory organs healthy like fruits vegetables whole grains milk and milk products we must go to the toilet when we feel the need and we do not hold it back now let's have a look on the summary of this video So first we have seen about the digestive system where we can see the food is going from mouth to esophagus which is also called as 
foot pipe and then it is reaching to the stomach and after reaching to the stomach it is moving toward the small intestine and from small intestine it is going to the large intestine and coming out through anus next is about urinary system or we can say excretory system so urinary system is the main part of our excretory system so let's talk about it this is our bean shaped kidney left kidney and right kidney the kidney attached with the bladder that is called as urinary bladder and it is connected with the ureter so the kidney is filtering the blood to remove the waste from the blood and converting it into the form of a urine which is getting stored in a bag called as urinary bladder and then through the urethra the urine is expelled out time to time and also we have talked about in this video how to keep our digestive system and excretory system healthy by doing exercises drinking plenty of water and having a balanced diet thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel and even don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update of my channel